And we are back with another episode of Nazis and Pia, right? Where this time we actually got the battles in place this time. So right now we got ourselves a uh, armor box over there. Once we got ourselves a ancient city treasure box. And once again, another easy. So yeah, this one's the armor box, which has iron armor this time. Okay, that's an improvement from the last time we got him. And this is ancient city stuff. You see there's some stuff in here. Ooh, echo shards. Another side, and it's okay. And a compass, or you actually become a, a catalyst, and a name tag. Okay, and but over oh, bones, actually yes, that's perfect. That we get to finish, we'll finish a little area today. Okay, so we're back at the highlands. Where oh, okay, wow, this is decent progress has been going on here. I guess I don't really need. I guess I don't really need these. I guess I don't really need need these anymore. I just kidding. I'll still I'll still use them. All right. There we go. Okay, now I got two extra ones. It was just what I'm trying to avoid, but alright. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, looking at it from this. Yeah, looking at it from this angle, you can you can barely tell the difference. There's a tree right there. So people would just normally walk past that, and that's about it. So yeah, that's cool. Let's go. Let's go see what's around here. We got time, so we got we could spare spare a few minutes. Got some sheep. Got some chicken. Got some cows. Obviously, I don't need that livestock. Alright, is there anything else here I should know about? Any monsters? Not whatsoever. Alright. Yep, just also clay and terracotta. Interesting. Okay. I probably should have been. Oh, more sticks. Okay. So, has someone been here before? That's strange. Okay, I'm really starting to find out some more and more stuff about this area. So then I may not want may not want to know. Okay. And it's only becoming nighttime. I have to get back to the portal now. Well, it's been fun adventuring. But well, I gotta get back home now. Okay. Well, uh, gotta keep an eye out. You never know what can come out of these caves. Or from the shadows. Oh, a bird sapling. Okay. Actually, that might be useful. Alright. Hey, these things are falling out of nowhere. What the heck? I think someone has been here. Which means if they've been here, there's probably something nearby. And if there's something nearby, well... Actually, I don't really know what happens after that, but I think it has to do with my with my location being compromised. I best head back before I uncover something else. Is this way? Oh boy, I really shouldn't have gone off the path I was just on. All right, okay, nice and easy, taking it easy. I can find my way back. I can find my way back. I like I lost before. I can definitely find my way back. I think I remember. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, it's this way. Yeah, it's looking for Yeah, I remember the spot. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. The wolves have, have started their hunt. I think I've gone a little too far. Hold on. Oh, jeez, no. Did I go too far? Oh, no. Did I go too far? I do remember this kind of. Looks pretty, though. But it ain't helpful. Alright. There's a thing, though. There's a thing, though. There's a thing, though. I, I will take the base. I'll take the base, good. I got a bit. Okay, I got a. Okay, but enough about that. I need to find my way back. Seriously, is that a light? Is that a village? I can't the rest of the nearby village in the meantime. Okay. I guess I'll take refuge here. I won't sleep in the bed though, because that is because that is destroying my spawn point, and then I really have no way back or going back anymore. Alright. Okay, so after shifting around some houses. And we finally get we finally get to move out again. Well, it's not daytime yet, but I can move out of that. Okay, so yeah, I had to take refuge in this small village over here, and just shift around a few houses to find a even much bigger one. But alright, alright, I better go now. I think just gonna wake up. Alright, see you later. It has to be around here somewhere. I think I remember the spot. I think I positively remember the spot. Hopefully. Okay, I think I remember these two leaves here. Okay, yes. Okay, yes, we made it. Cool, okay. So now I gotta jot down the corners of this area right here. Hold on. Okay, so after depositing all the stuff back, we're now in a good, good, clean state. So we're gonna go exploring. Also, I already jotted down the coordinates of the of my little portal area, and also I decided to go and get the corner of the gray of the gray dimension as well, the gray forest, 
because why not, just in case we need to go back to that dimension. But for now, we're going to this dimension, so we can go explore a little bit of that. I could mine the resources, yeah. Well, at the same time, no, I just want to leave this as empty as possible. Like, it's kind of like the nether in a way. Like, I kind of want to leave that, you know, I do this You know what would be even crazier, though? If I actually run into one of their bases, you know, the other people like Focus or Pro or Poet, anyone, any one of those people. Imagine if I run into their bases and I didn't realize it. That would be crazy. But I would also explain why I've been collecting so many falling sticks and birch chaplains recently. That would explain a lot. For example, yeah, these, these leaves right here. Are they man-made? Yeah, look, they're, they're dispensing stuff like that, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, someone has been here. Is there a base around here? No. I'm a little excited, yet I'm a little scared at, at the same time. That's separate. Alright then, let's see, the end of the road. Where does it take us? To a village, of course. Ow. To a village, of course. Alright. <coughs> Actually, I know, it's actually kind of perfect. Because cause now I think it's close to nighttime or sort of nighttime, who knows. Hey, there's a blacksmith here. And six. Again, Aww. someone has definitely been here. Is there a zombie here? I hear a zombie. Okay, there's still iron, though. No, I'll take that. I'll take this. You can have the horse armor. I'm gonna. I'm I hear a zombie somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, you know, I think it's inside the house over there, yeah. Because something has something just happened in a similar world as well. Like, that's makes it completely empty, but it's also dark as well, so mobs can definitely spawn inside there. Or it's under here. Nope, it's definitely in the roof. They, they have a bit of a pest problem at the moment. I'll let them deal with that. Yep, I think that's where the village ends. Okay. I could go further, while at the same time I should probably go start heading back as well. I don't want to stray too far from the path. You gotta admit though, this does look, this does look cool, doesn't it? It's a whole pathway, a whole barrage of landscape. Right here, in our, right here, in our dimension. You gotta admit, this does look cool. Now yeah, comes the long, treacherous journey back. Oh, wait, this. Hold on. <laughs> another, another village? Okay, I keep coming across villages nowadays. What the? This is a little deserted. I'll take the apples, though. And the bread. We always need more bread. Yeah, this looks deserted. I think someone has been here and just trashed the place. I took the book, too. Who knows? We might need it someday. Oh, this is one person, I guess. So that's a good thing. There we go. This one's... Okay. It has something on it. Better than nothing. I've got a habit of, of collecting shard sh sh pots now. Okay, it's become a thing now. Okay, seen something cool. I see this area. It's a grave... A graveyard. A graveyard? At this hour... I don't even want to know. Oh jeez. So looks like the bone yard. Bones everywhere. Ah, uh, but I have no other choice, don't I? Get me out of the cobweb. I have to spend the night here, don't, don't I? Okay. Okay, I gotta find a way inside. Nope. Oh my gosh. My goodness gracious. I'm spending the night in a cemetery. I think that's what it is, yeah. A literal cemetery. Oh my gosh. Rabbit hide. Why is it rabbit hide? I don't know. That potion of harming. Who drinks that? Make it a splash potion. And glow some dust. Okay. Just need to wait for, for the daytime. Eat that or just risk it. Okay. Morning at the graveyard. And you have some stuff here. I guess I'll come back and get the stuff. 
But yeah, now I get to explore this little, yeah, an actual graveyard right over here on our doorstep. And it's right here too, okay. Yeah, this is bones and, and treasure right around here. Okay, after a while, we finally found our thing. Okay. Finally, okay, we get to go home and, you know, deposit our stuff because we have a lot of things, to, things in our hands right now. Okay, the next day I rolled up, and yeah. Don't jump pretty ginger barbers. I found another, I found another cemetery right over there. Hold on. Okay, there it is in the distance right there. The cemetery. So yeah, I guess the highlands isn't the only dimension where you're going to see, like, the cemetery. It's here as well. It's crazy, yeah. So yeah, I kind of already looted this. I had to check this part, though. Yeah. I've just been taking the gold, iron, and gunpowder, mostly because it's just new. The bones and whatnot, those are remains of, of dead people, probably, so I just left them there. Let's check it with the other one. All I've taken was important and what's not important, I guess. Also, also there's some rabbit hide here, like the previous one. So yeah, I don't know. Also, this kind of feels weird, but seeing it in this way kind of feels like a parallel to the other dimension. That feels like a parallel in some way. I think so, yeah. It's sort of parallel. There was a cemetery this way. And then there's a cemetery the other way as well. So are all the dimensions linked in some special way, I guess? I think so, yeah, because cemetery going going down from the portal area, and there's another cemetery going the same direction in that area as well. So yeah. I think it is like a constant link. Speaking of dimensions, I have been doing a little bit of work off camera. And here we are. Uh, looks, looks a bit different. I, added, I decided to add a few more sections to this to this portal area, specifically down this way, and it's a lot more structured as well. See, so yeah, we have room for two, four, six, eight more portals, and I just got the idea of what I want to build them out of. One of them should be granite, diorite, and a site, and a whole lot of stuff. Maybe implement some sandstone and whatnot. So yeah. I've explored a bit of the highlands and a bit of the Grey Forest. That's how we explore some other dimensions, because who knows? Maybe we might find something over there. Okay, scratch that. We could we couldn't find any any granite in our in our home dimension. Only inside a diamond. And then look where we can get and decide. Is in diamond and nether quartz, which we're not gonna do, because yeah. It's a waste of quartz, and yeah. Why? Let's get land the portals then, shall we? So yeah, these two blocks don't work, for some weird reason. It's strange, which is strange because these are natural blocks. Oh well, I guess we have, I guess we have no choice but to put them back, I guess. Okay, before I go back into the portal room, I want to test these out first, because we lost some blocks to the void. Before I do anything else, I want to test to see if these work. Because I know the, the other wood stuff works, but I wonder if this wood stuff works. Okay. Okay, so these are the locks that don't work, but these are the locks that do work. Jungle, Acacia, and Spruce. Okay, so we can use those. And risk it in, in the portal, in the portal room. I can just do it safely here, in this little cavern area. Where I can just freely, you know, do portals, okay.
Okay. So we got a new portal situated. So yeah. <laughs> That's it. There's a jungle portal. And there's a acacia portal. And here's a spruce portal. Also, I kid you not. I'm I'm literally not making this up. I kid you not. This is also a portal. My gosh. How did I how did I miss this? What well, to be fair, my theory was that natural blocks work. Like anything you find naturally in the open would work. But birch, but things like birch won't work. So there are a few exceptions to the rule. So yeah, we have four new portals: a jungle portal, an acacia portal, a spruce portal, and apparently a cobblestone portal. And I'm weirdly excited to see what's behind all those. All right. Okay, so let's go through the jungle portal first. I think, right? Okay. Probably turn the side, but we'll see. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! And we are. What the heck? Where the heck am I? Amazon warehouse. Enjoy jungle dimension the better Amazon. It's a vast nothingness. Well, there's some trees behind us, but this way is vast nothing, or just a plains biome. I'm some sort. I got to cover this up with a house or something like that. Interesting. And there is a lot of jungle trees. So yeah. Luckily, I have enough wood. Oh, it's a canyon. Hey, yes, yeah, it's, it's a canyon, like my my like my house. What the heck? Interesting. Okay, can't wait to explore this area. I do have to cover this up though, like a house or something like that. All right. Next up is the acacia dimension. Let's see what's behind this dimension. I can't see. Where am I? I'm in a cave. What? I'm in a cave. A spider cave. I'm on the ground. Actually, yeah, you know what? I might not have to do anything for this one. <laughs> this actually did the job perfect for me. I actually need to light this area up, though. Yeah, because there's skeletons. I see just spawn inside a spider cave. With, uh, whatchamacallit. With, actually, yeah, deep slate. This is perfect, actually. Because now I get to, you know, come from deep slate. There's diamonds here, too. Okay, good. Is that diamond? Yeah, it's diamond. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm gonna quickly light this area up. There we go. Okay. Now this area is cool lit up. It should be safe to go to come back here. I won't have to build anything here. Huh. Alright. That's cool. I guess the, I guess the method did a job for me. I don't have to build up though. What's this called again? It's managing my heart is in Savannah. Ooh, nah, nah. Whatever that means. I'm sure that's a reference to something. Again, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure as to what exactly, but it's something. All right, our third stop today is a spruce portal. Let's see what's behind this one. I also can't see. All right, a tiger dimension. Come a tiger by. Catch a tiger the toe. They holler, let him go. Interesting. I'm sure that's a reference to something. Wait, hey, look at these trees. Wait. This is a spruce tree. Spruce trees have different tree, different leaves in here. Before before there were different leaves, before the oak leaves were the only ones that can have red leaves. This one, spruce trees can have whatever leaves they can. Interesting. And again, we're by a canyon. Oh my gosh. What a coincidence. I do also have to cover this one up as well. A jungle house for the other one, a spruce house for this one. But yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I won't lie. Alright, last stop I guess is the cobblestone thing. I have no idea what's behind there. I'm a little scared to see what's behind there. Might be another broken dimension, but we'll see. Ow, I can't... I can't see. What's going on? Oh, jeez, we're in a cave. Light this air up, light this air up. Oh my gosh. We're in a cave, we're in a cave, we're in a cave. What? What's in here? I don't get any demands for that, for that one. It's just a broken dimension. There's ores here, that's great and all. But I'm scared that something might be able to spawn here. What's it called? I didn't get to see the name of this dimension. Hold on. Oh no, okay. Well, well whatever dimension is, I have to light this area up. Because there's nothing spawns here. I hope nothing spawns here. Doesn't look like anything spawns here. 
It looks like nothing spawns here. I could be overreacting, but it look or underreacting, if I call. But it looks as if nothing spawns here. I think it's just a hollow cave of some sort. I'm going to get rid of these torches in hopes that the next time I enter here, nothing bad will happen. I'll probably still build like a shelter around this area though, just in case, because it looks like this is like a cave only dimension. Let me just go quickly go back inside and re-enter just to see what the name of the dimension was. Sparse Waste. Okay, it's called the Sparse Waste Dimension. Alright, I didn't know info about that one. It seems to look at info on the diverse dimensions. And the broken dimensions are, well, I guess, well, broken. There's nothing really to say about them. They're broken. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but alright. Mm. I'm sure we get some good content out of exploring this one. Explore these two, and maybe this one, if I ever have the courage to, you know, mine up there, I guess. Alright. Well, yeah, pretty exciting. I'll build the house for these two. I'll leave that one alone. I'll probably leave this one alone, question mark. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, that is going to be all for today's episode. Yeah. Done. I'm sure we get to explore those, those mountains pretty soon in the episode. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know you guys think in the comments section below. Like and subscribe. Please come on to other stuff in the meantime. And yeah. See you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.